Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine, across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low-mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them, or see them on our website, BobWeberAutomart.com, we can save you between five and ten thousand dollars on your next almost new car purchase. I'm Michael Burke, and this is Money Talks. Hi, welcome to Money Talks. Today we are with Rich and Kara Shawhan at the new and improved um, Scores Sports Bar and Grill at uh, Westgate Square. Uh, you guys moved from uh, a different location on Washington Avenue, 6100, where you'd been for 10 years. I assume a lease was up and uh, it was time to look at your options? That's correct. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, it was. Yeah. So we, uh, the rent was a little bit too high and uh, we just couldn't make it work there no more, so we decided to come here, newer, rebuild out here, so it worked out really nice for us. Well, it seems to me there are a lot of advantages here, uh, not the least of which is visibility, right? Correct. Because you guys were sort of tucked into kind of a funny little corner of that other square, and, and I, I just think you have great visibility here. Are you experiencing that so far, or do you agree with that? Yeah, I would say our sales have actually almost doubled. Really? In this wow. short time, but we just opened on Friday, so yeah. So we're doing this show, yeah, for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yeah, just four or five Wednesday. days after. Uh, oh, yeah, today's Wednesday. We had an election last night, so right. I'm still in <laughs> groggy mode. <laughs> um, why did uh, Why did you guys want to get into this business in the first place? That was all him. <laughs> yeah, uh, all my life I wanted to run some kind of a business, be in this or a miniature golf course or something. And then one of my buddies uh, asked me a long time ago to go into business with them, and we did. And we, when we first in what sort of in this business into, into the bar business, okay. yes. So we went and we looked at the old old uh, building there, and I looked. I said, "Oh boy, this don't look good." And he said, "Just picture what it could be, not what it is now, but what it could be." So then we had to talk here into doing it. And she said, "Okay, if you really want to do that, and I know that's your dream, you go ahead." So I said, "Okay, we'll, we'll try it." You know. So. And what were you doing before that? I was a meat manager for Cole's Food Store. Mm, okay. Yeah, and they're, they're no long, no longer around, and I. Oh, the old Cole's, yeah. Yeah. So once that happened, I was working for Pick and Save, and I decided to take the jump mm -hmm. uh, into doing this myself. So. Has it been a good move. It's been yeah. very good. He always so, coached the kids also, like for football, basketball, baseball, mm. and then, I mean, owning your own business, he has more flexibility, like oh, yeah. doing that kind of thing, so. Yeah. Not to mention a sports connection there. Right. right. Yeah. Um, I interviewed the the owner, or well, the president of the company that owns this mall. Oh. Uh, I shouldn't say mall, uh, shopping center. Mike Christie, and he said something like, uh, this deal came together faster than any other deal he's almost any other deal he's ever done. So why was it such a uh, easy uh, marriage? We signed the lease on October 3rd and we moved it, or our opening day was October 31st. So yeah. I should have brought in my little photo album. It has all the pictures, like the floors were torn up for the plumbing to go underneath. I mean, it I saw it about a week ago and it oh, was nowhere near re right? ready at that time. So right. we just did a lot of work, but yeah. let me tell you, this landlord is like, the best I've ever experienced. Uh -huh. We got a letter in the mail yesterday like that he sent to all the businesses in the mall telling them to check us out. Nice. And, yeah. Nice. I mean, we're not used to that. And by the way, for those who don't know, I should have explained, Westgate Square is the shopping center anchored by ShopGo, for those who hadn't figured that out mm -hmm. so far. Um, by the way, let's uh, just a tangent for a second, but you guys also started and ran spinnakers out on the causeway for what six, right. year, six, six years? years was it? December of 2006 to December of 2012. And, and of 12. course, yep. you had this going at the same time. So, what were those six years like? Were you? Did you ever sleep? <laughs> yeah, we did. I mean, this business here, the scores business, 
uh, the people that all work here are really great, so I mean, they kind of ran it for us. So everything worked out good. So then we were at Spinnaker's. And then in the summertime, it was more, I was down at Spinnaker's where it was busier then. Mm -hmm. And then in the wintertime, I'd be in here more because Spinnaker's slowed way down mm -hmm. uh, seasonal business, and I would be here more often. But the employees here were great, and they made it all happen for us to keep working. That's what drove our success with, all the, custo with the, the customers is all the mm -hmm. employee, yeah. employees that work for us. Yeah. No, we're here on wing day, you call it? What's right. wing What's wing day? Uh, Wednesdays. Probably. 35 cent wings, uh, dine-in only. Yeah. Yeah, with yeah. a beverage purchase. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, now, what, what changed besides your location? What did you guys um, improve when you oh. came into this white box space? Oh, it's, I mean, it's a lot fresher. It's newer. It's more modern than the other one. The other one's a little darker. It's a lot brighter, more window space. Um, just a lot nicer, like the bar, we custom built the bar. Um, the guys who did that were great, they did all the work and um, everything before was where we had to do everything, what was, we had to work with what they had there, where this way we got to customize everything. Mm -hmm. So everything was built to the way we were. You can just sit right over there. And then, um, what, um, did you just transfer all your, your screens and things, or did you invest in new, new things? Or um, We actually, we, we had a lot more smaller screens, so we actually brought in five or six of our other screens that we had, and then we, we purchased all the rest. I think we have 16 TVs with um, 13 of them being 55 inches or better size mm -hmm. TVs, so mm -hmm. that was a big improvement for that. And all, everything's in HD now, mm -hmm. compared to some of the stuff was in standard. Yeah. Uh, reception before. I wanted to also point out that your parking situation is improved, correct? Oh, yeah. Very much so. Yeah, I mean, you've got it's incredible. Acre, acres of parking out there. Um, and you also pointed out to me previously that there's another advantage you see, and that is just the number of businesses around you now, right? So that, that can potentially correct. bring people. Uh, yeah, we, we've seen that already. Um, one of the ladies that came in this afternoon, she's a male lady for us. She said, uh, hey, I see a lot of faces from all the businesses that are here. Oh, yeah. So that's, I mean, for our lunch business, that's what we want them to pick up a bond on. And it seems like that's already working for us, where we yeah. can capture some of the business from all the businesses around here. Mm -hmm. What sort of workers. customer comments are you getting so far? Yeah. Haven't heard a negative comment yet. They just walk in and, wow, this uh -huh. is, you did an incredible job, and uh -huh. it just feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you mind if I ask what, uh, what length of lease you signed here? 10 years. Okay, so you're going to yeah. be here at least 10 years. Then. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Um, and I'm curious, before we uh, before we leave, what are the biggest, I was asking you this before, I, I was asking you what are the biggest days of the year for your business, for the sports bar of scores, and I was going to predict the Super Bowl would be number one, but it's not and necessarily. It's not number yeah, one. I think that's probably, <laughs> might have, be in the top 10, but I thought. I'm going to say like the Friday before Christmas, which would be Johnson Wax Profit Sharing Day, is a very busy day for us. People we open up celebrate. early. We open at 7 a.m. and welcome yeah, we, them in, put out some food. And, uh -huh. and then we get a bus for it. They want to take a bus back and forth, mm. too, so we provide a bus. And then our second busiest day would be the... Uh, night before Thanksgiving. Night before Thanksgiving. So we, go, we, start, we open early that day, and then we go all night. A lot of people want to come back and meet old friends so they stop at a, at a bar that they're familiar mm -hmm. with so they say we've been very popular with that and they know they're off the next day and you were saying that people have come from out of town right. for, the, yeah. for that yep. and then I'm going to say like the March Madness the beginning of March Madness the Thursday before the first Thursday of the games especially the Badgers or mm. Marquette play that first day that's probably our third business day of the year hmm. Hmm. and the Super Bowl would just be in the top 10 you said top 10 yeah huh. it's, it's crazy but yeah it is so I think a lot more people have their own house parties uh -huh. for the Super Bowl, where yeah. the other days are different. Now, um, let me just ask you briefly about the menu. Do you, you have, you're a sports bar and grill, so obviously this isn't going to be a really full menu, but what are, in general, what are the foods you serve here? Um, we're very well known for our wings, our out of this world. Um, we're bringing back some of the stuff that we start with, like a steak sandwich that we, we're trying out now. But we go from soups, we have salads for people mm -hmm. if they don't want fried food. To grilled chicken breasts and different mm -hmm. things like that, just not just all fried foods. Mm -hmm. Pizza, mm -hmm. sandwiches, fish fry. And what time do you open up? Ten thirty. Okay. Seven days a week. Okay. Well, um, good luck to you. I don't think you're going to need it. You're off to a great start. Thank but, you. Uh, thank you. Good luck and thanks for. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for thank being you. on the show. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. And thanks for watching.
Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them or see them on our website, BobWeberAutomart.com, we can save you between five and $10,000 on your next almost new car purchase.